friends and welcome to Coffee with Nadia. Today I'm going to show you how to combine two of my favorites and because they are such polar opposites I wanted to do it in a very beautiful and elegant way. So my first love of course is vintage or classic prints like you know Old Country Roses by Royal Albert and you might have seen this around you know this shows up in movies I mean this is classic and then we have the other spectrum which is the modern and for me it's Ray Dunn I absolutely love Ray Dunn also so this is going to be very unique and the way I'm going to combine them is via my mom's rose garden I got these beautiful beautiful roses from my mom's garden I'll insert a clip of her garden in this video but there's three different color roses there are these very light ones then there's this kind of a medium uh, tone one and then there's burgundy ones and they are so so beautiful so what I'm going to do is I have these little candle holders or little vases these could be used either way I feel like I'm being a little bit of a wild child because not only am I combining vintage and modern today, I'm also combining silver and gold. The gold is going to be from my Old Country Roses um, dishware and the silver is going to be from these candle holders that I'm going to be using as vases today and I got three of them. So for my bouquets, I decided to mix all three colors in all three of these vases. And the biggest thing for me today is not to get scratched because I do have scratches all over me and it's not my cat this time. It is these beautiful roses that have no mercy on me. softness I have this greenery that I picked up from my mom's garden and it does come in this color and just like a plain color I don't know if it's the same thing they kind of look the same but I really like the white in it and I feel like it's more of per se farmhouse look and I'm just going to kind of sneak it in and put it in between the roses not too much, but just a little bit. This video is part of the Summer Coffee Beverage Bar Collab 2021. It is hosted by the beautiful A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis and Kenya's Decker Corner. I will have both of these ladies' channels in the description box below. Please visit their channels, show them some love, and don't forget to hit the playlist so you can see all the other participants and the beautiful coffee beverage bars they have made for this summer. So this is how my coffee bar looks on daily basis. I have my Nespresso and the little pods right there and my Keurig and the Keurig little pods right there. And I'm going to basically make it so romantic and beautiful. I'm gonna be drinking coffee all day long. The first thing I'm bringing in is this little tear tray and it's by Ray Dunn. It's uh, $19.99. I found it a few weeks ago. So you could definitely find it. On one side it says organic, on the other side it's empty. So I'm going to use the empty side and just place it right there. I love that it's so compact and nice. The first thing I'm going to do is work on the top side and I'm going to get one of my little plates. I'm going to place it upside down because this is a little deep. And then I'm going to place my little sugar container right there. Next I'm going to bring a little cup and this little cup, I'm just going to put a little bit of a faux little muffin in there. And I'm going to place it right in here. Next, I have a little dessert plate by Old Country Roses. And I'm just going to place it right here. Next, I'm grabbing some macaroons. And these are faux macaroons. I'm just grabbing five of these and I'm going to place them to the side. 
Next, I have a little milk container or a creamer container from uh, Old Country Roses, and I'm just going to place it in the back, right there. Next, I'm grabbing another cup and saucer, and I'm grabbing another faux dessert here, and I'm going to put this on the inside right here. Then I'm grabbing a little Ray Dunn little cupcake holder, and I'm going to put it on this side. The word sweet is not going to show, so I'm not too worried about that. Next, I'm grabbing a set of twos. So two little dessert plates, two little saucers, and two little cups. And I'm putting them right here. Just to kind of, I want to hide this part. Let me move this in the back. And then grabbing my tea kettle. I'm going to put this right here because you know what? When company's over, some love coffee and some love tea. And so we're going to do that. And there's one thing left and it's to beautify everything with some flowers. Let me see here. There you go. So my first bouquet, oh my goodness, they're just so beautiful, is going to go right on top of the little stand. My next one, and this one is so full, and it's gonna go right on top, right there. And then the last bouquet is going to go right in that corner. And this is why it's okay to have faux um, little desserts on here, is because this is to beautify my area, and I can definitely make coffee, and it's just so beautiful. Now, I do actually need to make coffee.